Teachers, welcome to Parent Square. Parent Square is a new parent communication app that uh, the district has adopted. Um, <clears throat> it's a two way communication portal. So the district can use it to replace School Messenger, which is what they used to use for their call out system. They, um, the schools use it, teachers can use it, and there are a lot of different things you can do with it. Parents can communicate two ways. So you can send messages and they can reply. This is meant to replace all other means of communication that we've been using previously um, so that we have one streamlined source of communication with parents across the district. That means no more remind, no more class dojo for communication purposes. If you're still using class dojo for classroom management, that's fine but your primary source of communication or primary means of communication is gonna be through Parent Square. So what I'm in right now is the um, training portal for Parent Square. Let me show you how I got there. Okay, so in Clever, you should have a Parent Square app. Okay, once you go, once you click on that, um, it should take you to either if you have, It'll either take you on into Parent Square, or if you have not yet created or registered your account, then it will prompt you to do so. Uh, everyone should have gotten an invitation to register their account. If you have not done that, then we need to do that before we get started with this training. Okay, so once you click on Parent Square, it should take you to your school's homepage. This is the district, so it looks quite a bit different than yours. Um, but to get to the training module where I am, which you don't have to go to that right now, but if you want, if you need to find it later for reference, is the little question mark in the upper right corner by your name. Click on that and go to Help Pages. It will take you to Teachers. And there's a series of um, training lessons there. Or if you go back and click on classes and training, this is the more in depth one that I'm going to do now. It's under Teachers 101. There are live webinars that you can watch or pre recorded webinars you can sign up for. And you can do that too, that's fine. But I'm going to walk you through this, the training course. So, about this course, this training is designed to empower teachers to start communicating with your classes right away and message individual users. Teachers can utilize our two-way platform and send out calendar events, get RSVPs, share photos or files, ask for items, and request volunteers. Parent Square helps you get the help you need throughout the school year. You'll learn to post information to your classes, direct messages to individual users, see class rosters, class calendars, photos, files, links on, parent, on the Parent Square portal, and app. And we'll look at the app view for teachers. Now, I do want to say, right now, the information that's in Parent Square is not up to date. It's last year's student data, so don't use Parent Square yet. Once the student schedules are updated in focus, then Parent Square will sync with Clever and it'll update, update all student and teacher data information. So until your schedules are set in focus, be, be, be aware. You don't want to use Parent Square just yet because you won't see the correct information. I also want to add that one of the great things about Parent Square is that parents don't have to opt in to get messages. As long as we have a parent's email address on file in focus, so it's very important that we get those parent email addresses, then they will get an email, even if they have not registered their account. They'll get the email no matter what. If they want to reply back or if they want to receive text messages or phone calls, 
through Parent Square, then they are going to have to register their account. Otherwise, they're just going to get an email. <clears throat> okay. This is about a 30 minute training. Um, if you have not yet, like I said earlier, if you've not yet activated your account, you should have received an invitation. If you have not activated it yet, you need to go to your email, look for that invitation, and register your account. We'll look at sample posts. We'll, you know, I'll, I'll walk you through this. Today at the teacher training, we're going to take a look at your ParentSquare settings. We're going to look at your account settings and preferences. We'll show you your class rosters, class calendars, all your posts, photos, files, and links. And then we're going to dive into the live platform and we're going to do a test post today to the teacher group to show you how easy our platform is to use. I'm going to show you how to do a direct message to a parent or a couple of parents. And then we also have an optional section for conference signups to show you how to create a teacher parent online conference signup. We'll also look at our help and support pages and everything I'm going to show you today in this teacher training is on our help and support with videos and step by step instructions. So don't feel like you have to remember every single step. You can always refer back to our help and support. I want to give you a quick overview of ParentSquare and the value that it provides and the tools that it gives you as, as teachers to make your jobs easier. The first thing is that ParentSquare is a central platform for all internal communication. The office will post school-wide messages. As teachers, you can post to your class or grade level. You can create any groups that you work with and you can post a message to a parent or a couple of parents. Parents are only seeing messages that relate to their child or children, so everything is very relevant, coming right to them on their smartphone or computer. ParentSquare provides a single place for parents to go to to get all school communication. Secondly, ParentSquare provides the tools that help you get the help you need throughout the school year. You can send out calendar events, get RSVPs, you can request items that you need or volunteers. Parents can sign up right from their smartphone. And anytime someone signs up, they get an automatic reminder the day before, so you don't have to remember to remind them. Thirdly, teachers, there's no setup for you. We pulled in all your classes or sections, all your students and parents, and all their contact information. So all you need to do is sign in and start communicating. Fourthly, teachers, we provide quick and easy translation solutions. When you post a message or you do a direct message to a parent, they can select their home language preference and they can get those messages in the language that they prefer. Next, you see single message for all. All users can set their notification preferences. So they can choose to get a text only, an email only, or both. They can get the app notifications. So when you post a message, it goes out to parents in the method that they prefer, and you don't have to keep track of cell phone numbers and emails. Lastly, ParentSquare extends that learning to the home. When you post a message about what you're studying this week, parents can follow up and ask about that with their child. And again, it extends that learning to the home. Now I want to switch to log into the Live Parent Square portal. Obviously, when you sign in, you will see your school logo and your school name. This is our demo school, Rincon Point School, and I'm signed in as a teacher. Here on the home page, you'll see some tabs on the left, and I want to quickly go through those so you feel oriented when you sign on. As a teacher, there'll be two ways you will be communicating. You will either do a post, and when you click New Post, you will be able to post to your grade level or your classes. Uh, so you have that option when you're posting, and you also have those engagement tools as well. So you'll be able to post to your class or grade level or any groups that you have under post. Messages is the ability to do a direct message to an individual parent or a couple of parents. So when I click on messages, I did want to note that if you click new message here, 
you can go through and select the parents in your class. You can just click any parents that you want to send a message to. So you can select private or group message and all the history of your private communications will be here under messages. As teachers, you will have your own class or section directories. You'll have your own class calendar, photos, files, and links. So I'll show you where that is in just a second here. And then under that, you see participation. Uh, each school can set up their own group and you can see all the groups available here and you can create any group. Uh, if you do have a group of students that you work with that's separate from your class or grade. Parents can sign up and RSVP. You can do a poll where you send out a question and parents vote and you can get quick input on that. The school can do a fundraiser and parents can enter in volunteer hours. So I did want to just orient you when you get here to the home page. Now teachers, I'd like for you to click on your name in the top right corner and click my account. This is your profile page. You can see your account information, your classes, all the posts that you've created, any scheduled or saved drafts, signups, groups, all of that can be seen under your account here. Also, every user can see their notification setting and language setting. If you click on change this under notification setting, you can see that every user can decide if they want email, text, or app notification, or a combination of any of that. They can also get an instant message or a digest email. If they do have an email, they can get one email at the end of the day with all the messages here. So every user can set their notification setting and their language setting. We are bringing in the home language preference if we are synced with your SIS. Um, so we do pull that in, but each user can set their language preference as well. Now I'd like for you to click the edit button here in the top right. If you click on edit, you'll see your profile. You can upload a photo. You can say a little bit about yourself, see your classes. And I want you to note this cell phone field. If it is blank, go ahead and enter in your cell phone. I promise you parents cannot see any phone numbers. But for those emergency alerts, you will need to have a cell phone listed. So if you want to pause the video, go ahead and add your, your cell phone. phone your area phone. code, no spaces or dashes. And at the bottom here, click save when you're finished. Now teachers, I'd like for you to click on the home button and I'd like for you to click on this drop down menu in the top right here. This is where you will be able to view your class or sections. If you're an elementary school teacher, you'll see your class. If you're in the upper grades, you'll see your sections here. So take a moment and identify your class in this drop down menu. Now I'd like for you to click on your classroom or one of your sections and here you'll see that for each of your classes you'll be able to see all the posts, all the messages you've sent out. You will see your class directory, your class roster. You your have own class calendar, your own photos and files. So when you click on photos and files, uh, you can create, you can upload photos and create like a shutter file album and send that out. You can, you can up, also, also upload, upload any folders or files here um, that you want parents to have access to. So this is a great electronic resource. Also in a post, when you attach, you attach any photos, photos or files, they, they will be saved here as well for the whole year. So parents can access this all year. You can also list any helpful links that you want parents to have access to. So for every class, you're going to have all of these landing pages. Let's click on the directory tab here. You'll be able to see your class roster. And I wanted you to note that if you click on this manage button that has a screwdriver next to it, Go ahead and click on manage here. This is where you can see a more detailed class roster here. You can see all the parent uh, email and cell phone numbers here. On this page, you are also able to click add user. And here, this gives you the option to add another teacher uh, to have access to this class. You can also designate a room parent. Uh, and this is really helpful. Once you designate a room parent, that parent is able to post to your class and help uh, post messages and help you get out the information that is needed throughout the year. You can also uh, select any assistance that might be in this class here. So all, so all you need to do is search and highlight the person you want to give a role to. 
Uh, if you're a, they're another teacher, you can add them. If they're a room parent, you'll select room parent and you'll click add user. So I wanted to make you sh sure you knew of that option, add user. Let's go up and click the home button. So teachers, I did just want to note that in this drop down menu, this is where you can find your class or sections. Okay, so it says to now try in Parent Square, but as I mentioned earlier, the data in Parent Square is not updated yet, so prefer that you not try it just yet. Um, so, but I'm going to leave this page up here for a few minutes, and that way if you need this video later and come back to watch it, your instructions are there. Teachers, we're going to dive into the Parent Square portal and we're all going to do a test post together. So go ahead and click on this green new post button. Here on the post page, you'll see a two section. Go ahead and click on the box under two and a drop down menu pops up. Here you can see the grade level that you work with and your class or classes or sections here. Now go ahead and type out the word teacher and you're going to see your teacher group here. Today, I wanna to be very clear that we're not gonna to post to our class or grades because it will go to parents. So right now we're going to do a test post and you're going to see your teacher group here. So everyone go ahead and select the teacher group in the two section. Under the subject section, you'll enter in the subject of your message and under description, you will type out your full message. This is the message that will go out to your class or grade level. I did wanna show you that you do have these formatting tools here. So you can change the font size, the color of your font. You can embed any image that you have on your computer or your Google Drive. So you can select that image that you have downloaded and you can enter it into your message here and kind of spice it up. So this is a field trip to the Science Center. Now I want to align it and I can also resize it here. So I'm going to go ahead and enter in that image. You can also insert links here. So once you have your subject and your message, if you did want to translate this message, what you would do is you would type out everything in English and then you can click this translate now button. So when I click the green translate now button, what's nice is you'll see the preferred language that your school has chosen will show up here and you can edit this translation, but it's nice to have a base to work from. So you can edit any of this translation and you'll see that you have English and Spanish or your other preferred language for your school. On the right, you'll see notification options. So if there is something urgent that you need to get out right away, you'll click send instantly and that will override the digest setting. The drop down arrow here next to post now allows you to preview your message. I highly recommend that you preview your message before it goes out. It allows you to schedule a message if you want it to go out on a certain date or time. You can also uh, save a draft if you want to work on it later, but when you're ready to send out your message, you're going to click post now. And then here you'll see all the notifications that will go out and you'll click post now again. On the left, you will see post add-ons. So when you click calendar entry, what's nice is that the calendar pops up here. You can put in the date of the field trip. You can put in uh, the beginning time and I can add an ending time uh, or you don't need to have that. So I can put in the, the ending time here and when you click on AM, PM, if you click the P, it'll change to PM here. 
Also, once you enter in the date and time, if you click on repeat, you can add in any repeating calendar events that happen weekly or monthly or daily. You can also set a reminder to go out one, two, or three days before your event, and you can request RSVPs if you need that. So again, if you use Evite or Sign Up Genius or Shutterfly, this all replaces that and streamlines it here into this one platform. So again, if you're talking about an event that has a specific date, you're gonna wanna enter in your calendar entry as well. And whatever you have in the two section, if you have your grade level or your class or classes selected, that's where that calendar event is going to go to. So whatever is in the two section is where that calendar event will appear. Next, you can attach any photos or files that you want. When you click attach photos or files, you can choose those files from your computer or Google Drive. You can select them or select multiple files here and you can uh, attach them here to your post if you would like to. You'll see those file names here. And just like an email, parents are able to read those attachments that you send. You can also, if your school has enabled this function, you can add a permission slip or a form. This is an online permission slip that parents can electronically sign. Um, and we do have a whole help page section and video for that if you are interested in that. Then you can also ask for any items that you need. So I requested some granola bars here and some water bottles and the quantity that I need. Parents can sign up to bring these on the field trip. And you can request volunteers. So here I'm going to request chaperones to come on this field trip. I'll put in the time and how many chaperones I need. You can continue to add tasks and dates that you need or repeating volunteer signups. Um, so that is an option, especially for a field trip. Usually you'll, you'll be requesting chaperones or drivers. Uh, you can also, if your school has enabled payments, you can request a payment for anything that is needed if that your event needs that. So these are the post add-on options that you have when you're creating a post and you can select any or all of them when you're doing your message. Here on the home page, you can see parents can sync this to their calendar. They can sign up to help with any of the volunteer requests that you make. So when they click the green sign up button, they can write a short note. They can say how many spots they want to sign up for. And when they click save, their name will appear here. What's nice is that for any sign up, you can add someone manually. If you click add someone here, you can highlight their name and add them to any sign up. And anytime someone is signed up, they will automatically get a reminder the day before. Uh, so you don't have to remember to remind them. You can remove anyone from a sign up and you can print your sign ups. Parents can appreciate any post and under comment, they can ask a follow up question. And parents cannot see any of these comments. So only you will see this comments uh, and you can reply to their, their questions if they do have any further questions here. Here, teachers, I want you to note that when you do post a message here on the home page, you'll see this little gear icon next to your message only. So if you click on this gear icon, this allows you to edit anything. You can delete this message. You can send an update if you left out anything. So you don't need to create a post. You would send an update if you do need to send out any additional information. You can turn off comments if you want. You can pin this post or get a link for your post. And this is where you can message volunteers. So you can send out last minute reminders or thank yous to the volunteers who did sign up. And this is what we talked about, those delivery statistics. This is where you can click and see if there are any red circles. You can see that under email report and if there was a text report, you can see if there's any emails or cell phone numbers that need to be updated in your SIS. Or if your school manually uploads data, you can change their information on ParentsWare and update their email or cell phone number. Teachers, I did want to show you the app view in case you are doing a post or message from the app. You'll see this plus sign in the top right corner and you can select post, event, or message. If you're doing a post, you'll see the two section where you can select your grade or class. You'll write your subject and your message. 
What's nice about posting from the app is you can grab photos right off your phone if you click this little camera icon. So if you're out on a field trip, you can share photos uh, when you're out and about. You can also, uh, you'll see all the app options. And what's really nice for parents, again, when they are on the app, they can see all the messages, they can sign up, they can appreciate, they can ask a follow-up comment, they can see all the events, sign-ups, photos, and files. Uh, so I did want to just show you the app view. If you did want to do a post or a direct message or create an event, you can do that right from the app. I want to show you how easy it is to create a teacher parent conference sign up. The first thing that you'll do is click on add ons, and here on the left, you'll see conference sign ups. Under class, you're going to select the class that you want to do a conference for. If you do need to add other classes to this conference sign up, you'll be able to do it in a couple of screens, but first select one of your classes. Then you'll start to put in the dates of the conferences. So maybe you have Monday and Tuesday, Wednesday. So you can continue to put in the dates. You can put in the start time and the ending time. And maybe conferences, you'll put in the slot duration. So maybe they're 20 minutes. And I like to have a little buffer there. So I put in a five minute break. If you do wanna hide the names of parents who sign up for a conference time, you can click this box. Then you're gonna click next. And when you click next, what's nice is that all these time slots pop up. And teachers, you can go in and you can delete any time slots that do not work for your schedule. So go ahead and delete anything, and then you'll click next. Here you'll see the post outline here and in the two section you can add any classes or grade levels or groups that you want you'll put in your subject your message uh, you can translate any instructions or add any instructions here and down here you can edit any of these titles you can add or remove any slots you can manually change any times and when you're ready you're going to click post now here you'll see all the time slots and again parents can choose a time slot that is open and they can see what's filled so they will sign up for a time slot you can also add someone manually to any time slot if there's a parent that needs a certain time slot you can highlight and add them there anyone that sign up for these conference signups will be automatically reminded so you don't have to remember to remind them you can print your conference signups uh, and you can send a message to all of your signups as well here. So as you can see, we're trying to get those conference signups off your front door on paper and into parents right on their smartphone. They can sign up for these conference signups. The other nice thing is that the front office can look at your conference signups and see who's coming in each day as well. So that's how easy conference signups are. Again, you're going to click on add ons and conference signups, and you can start creating your conference signups when that time comes around. As a teacher, as a teacher, you will do a post to your class or grade level, or you will do a direct message to an individual or a group of individuals on ParentSquare. These are the two ways that you will be communicating. You can also see your scheduled or saved draft posts right here. Teachers, if you do have any further questions or you need further help or support, you're going to come up here to the top right. You'll see this question mark. This is our help and support. Go ahead and click here. Under getting started, you're going to come here to the teacher tab, click on the teacher tab, and you'll see all our teacher help pages. So you have the getting started, started, started videos, 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 our training videos, if you need to assign a room parent to your class, create a group, if you want to create an online teacher parent conference sign up. Uh, so you have all these help pages that you can look at as resources. 
You also see on this help and support page that we do have live chat. You can always submit a request at support at parentsquare.com or we have an 888 number. So there's always your questions, a answer. questions answered. Parents if you're using Parentsquare, you can these tabs any of these tabs that interest you to see step-by-step -step instructions and quick videos as well. Up here next to the question, here, mark, to the question mark is a heart. This is our wall of love. If you click here, you can scroll down and you can see why so many parents, administrators, and teachers love using ParentSquare. And again, this platform is designed for you as teachers to get the help that you need throughout the school year. So go ahead and take a glance there. So teachers, go ahead and log into your ParentSquare account where you can start a post or do a direct message. And again, start engaging your classes, grades, or section in a more meaningful way on the ParentSquare platform.